three, two. Hey, this is Dr. David Powers over here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, kind of an open letter of sorts to Fisher Space Pen. I uh, wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, your pen and uh, some of the good things and bad things about the Fisher Space Pen. I've been using one for several years. Uh, my wife bought me one as a gift one year. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I have worn this sucker out. Uh, it's a constant companion. It's a great, uh, great size to keep in my pocket. I don't have to worry about the point. Uh, you know, like a ballpoint or something like that coming through. Um, it's not so fragile like a Mont Blanc or something like I used to carry. Because I'll be honest with you, some of the activities I get into, that kind of pen just won't work. The Fisher Space Pen, however, has been perfect. I mean, it even makes a quick, expedient weapon if I need one of those in a pinch. Um, the only problem I've had, though, I mean, uh, tons of compliments about the pen. The only problem I've had, um, just got through buying another cartridge here. It says here, uh, you know, your regular marketing merchandise. Uh, writes in extreme conditions, underwater, over grease, in extreme temperatures, even upside down. Um, except, apparently, if it's in my pocket. It does not write well when it comes out of my pocket. See, my problem is, is uh, sometimes when I pull the pen out, if I've dropped it at all, um, or if it just sits for a while, as soon as I start writing with it, it creates a big blob of ink. And uh, most of the time, much worse than this, you can actually see where some of the other writing has bled through the pages when I write in my notebook here. And when I just now pulled it out, it starts off with a blob of ink. And as I write, for about the first 10 minutes of writing, it just keeps leaving a blob. Couple of problems with that is that uh, the blob of ink doesn't dry quickly, so it gets all over everything. And the thing that bugs me the most, I'm left-handed. So the first thing I do as I write further is smear that blob right across through there. Uh, it keeps me from being able to write on anything anything glossy like a business card because the ink just doesn't dry quick enough on the blob and uh, makes for a messy note when I'm writing something on a business card to hand to somebody and so just wanted to check with you guys because I'll be honest with you I'm having to replace an ink cartridge every time one of them starts bobbing up the ink cartridge is shot I can't use it anymore because it's it's useless for me even though it's probably still half full and ink cartridges on these things at uh, Office Depot just bought one with tax I'm looking at five dollars and thirty three cents about every two months. And it may not seem like an exorbitant amount of money, but it's more than I want to keep spending on ink cartridges that I'm only using halfway through. So I just wanted to send this over to you guys, see what you thought, see if you could offer me some advice or a tip, or just let me know what I need to do, because I'd love to keep using my, my Fisher Space Pen. I'd love to keep carrying it, and I don't want to have to get rid of it, but uh, you know, may have to go that route. So this is Dr. David Powers. Uh, signing off now, and uh, I'll wait to hear back from you guys. Thanks.